Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to another episode of the Washington XXM podcast. As I always say, like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. A like is free, so click the like button. It helps with the algorithm. Shut off, shut off the video. So you don't know. Today's about topic we are talking about BBLs, aka Chop Shop. My thoughts on BBL. They have, you see these days Instagram models and only fan pages where you see all these girls, especially Europeans, have this hourglass shaped body, which is, uh, they spend a lot of money on BBL, but this is what I was thinking. Remember, first time it used to be, um, BBLs used to be uh, mostly for people who have money, because remember a couple years ago, those things was expensive. Um, then now people start use when we back then today they used use plastic like silicone. Now it advanced and now it's getting it's gotten cheaper cars. Right now somebody can go for instance Santo Domingo or Colombia and they can do um their, their, their body for like what up to seven grand, five six grand, five thousand, six thousand, seven grand, eight grand, nine grand. Eight. But it varies, but it starts from five grand. So it's kinda it gets fairly cheap for regular females now, but now, instead of plastic, they are now transferring the fat from the stomach, put it in the body. Which technically it's more safer because it's, it's your own body fat. It's not a foreign object you're putting in like silicone. You can, we used to remember all those horror batch surgeries you see um, on these documentaries with girls, the bottom fall or the silicone break and it life changing at times, can kill them. Like, like recently with Spice, she was in a coma. I don't know what she did, so I can't, it wasn't confirmed, but she was doing some form of surgery. And body wise, my um, cosmetic surgeon, almost, she was in a coma, or she got sick of it. Anyway, but this is the thing that makes it so difficult in dating nowadays with BBLs and or going to the, the chop shop and, 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 you know, basically adding pieces and taking out pieces, doing lips, nose jobs, nose jobs, breast jobs. Um, butt lift, breast lift, um, flattening the stomach. But me personally, I'm a fan of natural, big body, big bone, uh, big body girl. I mean, love big body. Me personally, I'm a, I'm a, I love, I love big body girls. That's my thing. My my wife, oh, she have one. So anyway, well, you can tell most of the time. You can tell if a girl has. Well, me, I can tell most of them. Not all the time, but most of the time, you can tell when a girl go in the shop and, and do some chopping. Because the, the main thing I watch is the leg ratio ratio to the butt. The smaller the leg, if, the, if they have a big butt and the leg small, you know that's surge. Because typically, a woman with a big butt have a, a big, thick thigh. They don't have skinny thighs. And you can, I, and it does, it does, yeah, I just, me, me, I just automatically know, but you have some girls that do, that do, do that surgery, but they don't go overboard. They just do a little touch up. But those ones are more difficult to see because it's not um, it's not a, 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 a big difference. They just do a little bit, a little bit of touch up. And those ones, I think to me, is a better one. <laughs> it's a better, it's a better kind because I met a lady. She was is a, a white European. She's French actually, and I saw her them. She she up like two cups. I'm like. Something is different about you. And she started to laugh. But I, I didn't point out what it was, but I just said, you look different, something is different about you. Cause I didn't want to just come up blatantly and say that um, you do a, a, a breast job. Anyway, like that, I don't have a problem with it because it's not, it's just a, a, a cup size or two above her normal cup size. But you have some who go overboard and put on you know, some, some jugs and even the butt, they go extra big on the butt. And then after a year or two, when they, when they don't exercise and keep it up, it starts to fall. I can't see it fall or it misshape or... And then it look odd. It look lumps here and... But I've met females that does do the, the butt part thing. And her, um, she exercises every day. I always see her exercising, doing her, her walks and her squats and her... Um, her um, the butt exercises basically. But and she keep her body she's like I know she's done the body thing around what? A couple around 
what, eight years on going, maybe more. And she's still on point because what she exercises. But most people want quick fix. They don't want to do the exercise. They want that quick fix to just go on the boom and go surgery and come out. And then that's why dating is so difficult because when a woman spend all that money on her body, she don't want to date a regular guy because she's saying, oh, she spent too much money to look good. So she want a man where levels is up financial, financial wise. So that's why it's dating is so hard. And dating is extremely hard now. Well, not so much in the Caribbean as in the, in the, in the Europe and in the States because in the States, they also do cosmetic surgery, which they change the face totally. And they break, take out ribs and do all that. But imagine you meet a girl that does a surgery on her face, cosmetic surgery, take out her rib, and she look beautiful, sexy. Marry her, make a child with her, the child come out. You see the child won't match the mother, especially if the child looks like the mother because the mother beauty is cosmetic. The child looks is genetic. So even though you do the cosmetic surgery genet genetically, your child gonna come out how you normally should look. So and then that sometimes my man say you get a jacket because the picnic look totally different, but not knowing that's how the mother body type is, but because he does all this cosmetic surgery and this BBL. You think you married a supermodel when not knowing that it's a, the opposite of a supermodel. Let's put it that way. And there's, there's other, other aspects of dating right now. For example, you have to be wondering if that person is a trans, if that person is a bi biological female, or if that person is bisexual or, or, or gender fluid or whatever the hell they call themselves. So you have, you have to worry about cosmetic and you have to worry about biology. Because you have well, men doing sex changes, especially in Asia, right? it's big in Asia. And then you also have surgery for the eyes now, which it's done in Canada. I met some, uh, um, a friend of mine, he's from Canada, Canadian, and he went on the surgery on his eye and changed the color of his eye. Um, his eye. So even that now is possible. So even when you see a girl with beautiful eyes, you're not sure because uh, um, you're not sure if there's natural eye or if it's surgery because I uh, hear there's, there's surgery now, but it's expensive. You can put contacts beyond in um, permanent contacts. So make your eye look, so people changing their eyes, they change their whole face, cosmetic wise, they change their body, changing everything. So dating is so difficult. And this is why dating is extra difficult because as I said earlier, when a woman do spend all her money on her body, she gonna want to attract up her a man that say make say minimum 70 80 six figures hundred thousand a year a hundred thousand a year man they want the man i have well man i have big cars and houses and i know i can fly them here and fly them there because that's one of the reasons why to me um the only fans is so popular because these girls do their body and they're looking like a nine when they were in the original, they were maybe like an average looking girl, but now they are nine because they did the artist body surgeon cosmetics. So, and only fans and Instagram models are making a lot of money because they're having men flying them out. And there's a lot of um, sims, uh, I call them idiots, where we spend tons of, tons of, tons of money on these girls. And then they, these girls believe that's normal, it's not, it's natural. From a man to the fly them where they want to go. They want to go in the Caribbean or they want to go to Dubai or they want to go to all these extravagant, extravagant places where a normal, regular working guy with make 40000 a year can't afford to do all of that. But most of the time, these guys who date in these BBL body girls, me personally, I like to see it. I'm not going to, I'm going to lie, it looks good, but I can't because to me, I'm thinking, how long that gonna last? Is if you're gonna drop? I just love natural body. Natural I look I love natural looks, natural body type, natural hair, even locks or your afro or whatever. I don't like so I'm not a big fan of girls putting in all these extensions and hair long to the long to the hair. I'm like and phew, I don't I don't understand it. But anyway, men, well, Men as in, men who like natural body types and uh, average, average guys, they are almost out of luck because that's why most of them you know is, is incels or virgins. Because some of these, I have friends as virgins in the late 20s, late 30s. I have friends that in their 40s, almost, well 40, so I said from 35 to 45, 
single, they have their own home, and they, are, they have their own car, but they are single because they are average looking, average salary, which is like 40, 50,000 euro per year. And some women, they want the most, they want expensive gifts, like expensive um, bur um, like Michael Kors and Gucci bags and all these superficial material stuff that makes no sense. That don't make a, don't make a, a relationship work. And most of these chicks can't cook. They can't wash, can't clean. If you're gonna leave most of these girls home, it's dirty. You don't wanna be in there, it smells. And they have their clothes thrown all over the place. Cause I've seen it. Pretty, pretty girls, like models, who do, who, who do um, even here locally, who do modeling. And when they're going to their homes, well, back then when I used to date, not now because I'm a married man now, but back then, when I used to date, you get some of these girls' houses and they have things in the sink with things growing on the plates and the, the homes, it's smelly and they have clothes and then when they saw them on the streets, they're fresh to the tea, nails down here, down, properly, everything fresh and proper, but homes are not. It's not with very few women in this modern time that can keep a home or keep a man then, guys, to cook for the man. I know they want to go out to eat, they don't want to, they can't prepare bread, not even breakfast, they can't prepare. So, to all the guys out there, there's still some good girls out there that average girls, nice body, naturally body. But you have to just keep an eye out and don't forget, most. Eight times, eight times out of ten, when I see these girls with these banging bodies, like Coca Cola shape, most time is surgery. So, if you can't afford to take care of one, don't date one. That's it. Anyway, like, comment, comment, send a comment. Don't forget to like, like the video because the, I'm telling you, the video is free. So, like it, and the likes is free, and it helps the algorithm to push the video out. So, see you guys tomorrow. I'll do this video tomorrow again and upload it. Maybe. I don't know when I'll upload it, but I'll do another video. My next topic is going to be Christianity. And my next topic will be about pastors that's gay. Gay pastors. That will be my next topic. So keep in touch. Boom.